Hi, it's me again. And just quickly, we'll have a quick quiz. Write your answer in the comments below. What do you think is the lowest form of television? I mean, reality shows, obviously, but I have one in particular that epitomizes what the lowest form of television is. To me, personally, your thoughts may differ. You're allowed to think what you want to think. I'm allowed to think what I want to think. Right, that's the world we live in. So write down quickly in the comments and I'll tell you what mine is now. I'll wait. Yeah, Love Island. I think Love Island is the lowest form of television possible. And it's an ITV show, so they can make whatever they want. And they make a lot of money from Love Island. You've got to give them that. A lot of money they make from advertising in Love Island. I will concede that. And the BBC wants some of this. Have a look at what the BBC have come up with. Should be ashamed of yourselves, BBC. Love in the flesh. Meet the couples and presenter Zara McDermott. Five couples who have been dating online meet in the flesh for the first time to spend a week together in a glorious Greek beach house. But will their online spark translate into a real world love story? So there we go. That's Love Island meets 90 Day Fiancé, basically, isn't it? Two really hot shows in a minute. 90 Day Fiancé is massive, massive. Quite big in the UK, but huge in America and big in many other countries and the missus watches it so I know quite a lot about 90 Day Fiance. I don't mind actually to be honest but it's not brilliant TV is it and Love Island the lowest form of television possible come with one and we get Love in the Flesh on the BBC who greenlit that idea it's your license fee's paying for that these online daters will be whisked away from the pressures of daily life and screens to explore whether their online relationships can turn into love in the flesh Having started their relationship through apps, stories and DMs, some couples have been chatting for years whilst others have only been flirting for months or weeks. But does their online persona match their real world self? So this is going to be six couples, so 12 people obviously, so good at maths, being flown to Greece to stay in a private villa where they'll be fed and watered and entertained all on your pound, your TV license fee. So it's going to be eight 45-minute episodes, and now they're weekly on BBC Three, and it starts on Wednesday the 23rd of March. Your TV licence fees are going to pay for this lowest form of television ever. They're scraping the barrel to be, aren't they? I know, I know, I know that reality shows are really hot, and Love Island is the hottest of them all. But it doesn't mean to say you should copy it. You should try and rise above it and make something better not a cheap rip off of it bbc oh god it makes me so sad lately the bbc it really does so do you want to have a quick look at the couples just to see if this is a show for you uh, we've got time let's have a look christos and nikki uh restaurant manager from worcester and nikki is a carer from brighton wow millie and shelby hannah and brandon chibs and chazelle jesse and kwame I'm bored already. And who's Sarah McDermott? I feel like I should know who that is, but I'm over 40, so don't really. But yeah, I just thought this was interesting because this is on the BBC Media Centre. They're talking about this and they're proud of this show. Oh, I don't I don't think they should be really <laughs> to you. But let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. If you think this is something the BBC should be getting involved with, or do you think they should just continue making antiques programmes and crappy quiz shows and gardening things. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.